So another quick video based on a question that appeared on the, on the Virtual Today Facebook group. So it was about how you could automate your, your mixing and maybe even add effects on top of it. Uh, so this was this video is all about. So uh, we're going to try to script it here. So it's especially relevant maybe for people using keyboard and, and mouse so they don't have so much control. So as most of you probably know, Visual DJ has a mix now function. So if I try putting that on a, on a custom button, like this, what it does is it simply starts the opposite deck and it uh, uses a crossfader to mix into it. So let me try playing this track. And it mixes into it. But as you could probably tell, uh, a lot of the time doing the mix, both tracks were very audible. So and that's probably because I have a, a crossfader a curve setting that I don't want. So if I go into the crossfader curve, oh sorry, that's set to scratch, which is not really ideal for this kind of mixing. So now I'll reset that back to full, and we'll try again. Since these are, are mirrored these days. Uh, the function I added over here is also available over here. So I'll probably just play this track now. And then mix into the other one using the mix now function. And I get a much more smooth mix. As you could also tell, it was, it was pretty well synced. Well, that's because the, the mix now function actually also syncs if possible. So if you don't want that, you can uh, add no sync, and then it doesn't do anything uh, regarding syncing the tracks. But since these two tracks are in the same BPM already, and they're pretty well laid out and pretty well gridded, I think we'll just use the mix now function. Also, how fast does it actually move? Well, the default is 4,000 milliseconds, but we can change that. So I'll make it twice as long here. So let's see how that sounds. So now we start over here instead. Oh, sorry, over here instead. And mix it. It's will sync and pretty long. Okay, so far so good. So what was this thing about uh, the mix effects? Well, that's actually something that's been in the Virtual DJ quite a while, but uh, with Virtual DJ 2020, it's it's been made more apparent that it's there because if you, for instance, look at the essential skin, you can see you have a mix effect down here. Uh, so what does that do? Well, it actually adds an effect on top of whatever you do with the crossfader. So the mix effect is only on the, on the simpler skins that you probably don't use or the simple layouts. So let's go back to Pro and see, well, then we'll have to, well, it's not here, so we will have to, to script it. So how do we do that? Well, I go into a second button here. So, well, uh, let's see, it's something about effects and it's something about mix. So you get these three and uh, this one will, will just give you a pop-up where you can select it. So what we want to do actually is what we want to use this one uh, and say, well, let me try the echo effect. So that's what we select and then we want to turn it on. And that's the, the second one. So that's effects. Oh, sorry. Uh, mix, activate. And because I might repeat this, I want it to basically always be on. So I put in on, so it doesn't toggle it. So uh, if I use that over here, so it's here now, so I activate it. Same thing, doesn't matter which side. And then I play a track, and I do the mix now. You can hear the echo here. Track. So final step is combining the two. So uh, take this one, copy it, put it in here. That's fine. And then I say in the end that I want to do the mix now with, for instance, 8,000 millisecond. Like that and then maybe let's do 
two versions of it. So I copy it, put it down on this one. Say, well, let, let me get another one. Try with the filter instead. Like that. So now they're combined, so now they don't need the two first buttons anymore. Um, and let's see what it sounds like. The first one. You can actually still hear the echo here because I've stopped the tracks. And finally, let's try the filter one. So start here. So that's the last button. So one of them fills out and the other one's just like that. So that's a combination of using the the mix effects for the crossfader and the mix now function with a little bit longer length and setting the crossfader curve to something meaningful when it comes to the mix now function and of course choosing that you want to do it in time so we let it enable the uh, sync and, uh, and the grid and 